At the same time that Vandiyathevan was descending on the tip of Nagataiva and heading towards Matadam, at the same time that Aniratha Brahmaraya and Alwarkadayan were discussing the state of the empire, Kundave Devi and the Kajumbalar princess Vanatha were approaching the city of Tanjore mounted on a horse mounted by Ambari. The younger Brady had been thinking that she would not go to Tanjore for some time. There were many reasons for this. At Tanjore there are not yet enough palaces for the palace Pender to live separately. All Pender should be in the main palace of the emperor. All the other palaces were occupied by the Palyavatarais and many government officials. The palace Pender was able to remain independent in the old array. You can go out as you wish, can come but if you live in Tanjore, you will have to come under the control of the cultists. It is impossible to come and go within the fort and the palace at will. Such restrictions and compulsions do not hold for the younger Brady. Alam Alam Pavuver Ile Aranese Cherokee, her egotistical behavior also greatly disgusted Kundave Prati. The emperor also preferred that the palace ladies stay in the old room. Due to these reasons, Kundave Prati was living in old era. She was also restraining her desire to see her ailing father and to serve him. But since Vandiyathevan had come and gone, there had been a change in the mind of the younger Prati. Is it right for us to spend our time frolicking in the rivers and dancing in the parks while there are terrible intrigues and conspiracies going on in the kingdom? Damayan is in the throat country, the younger brother is in Esnadu, shouldn't we look after the affairs of the kingdom in their absence? Has Tamayan Aditha Karigalan requested that events happening in Thalayanagar should be announced through private messengers? How can you know what is going on in Tanjavur if you live in an old house? The news announced by Vandiyathevan was very terrifying. The only thing the younger Brady didn't like so far was the scumbags exercising power beyond their status. Now they have started making intrigues about the throne itself. Pity. They also ensnared that supreme Sadhu Madhurandha. They captured many of the Chola princes and many noble officials. You never know what will happen at what time. Who saw how far their scheming, deception and greed would go? They will keep Sundara Chola's life. How can you say no? Wouldn't it be easier to put Madhurandha on the throne if something happened to the emperor in his absence? They will do anything for this. Even if they don't know the idea, Nandini will teach them. Even if they hesitate, she encourages them. So it is better for us to stay near our father in Tanjavur. It can be observed that intrigues and conspiracies go to any extent. And we can make sure that no danger comes to our dear father. Why do they see the gentle Madhurandha on the throne? For Dharmanaya system? Not at all. If Madhurandhagan is given a title, it is so that they can keep him as a puppet and run all the affairs as per their wish. Then Nandinis will become law in the Chola Empire. Others must live in fear of her power. The other palace matar should stand by her. See you. Can such a situation be accommodated? It won't happen until I have one. Let's see her skills. Being in Tanjavur will be difficult for him in many ways. Mother and father said, Why did you come here, leaving the comfort of your old room? They will ask. Independence will disappear. Someone will talk about his marriage. He doesn't like to hear that. Nandini can be seen sometimes. He can't stand her intrusion. But if we look at all this at this time, will it be corrected? Disaster has come to the kingdom. There is also fear that the father's life may be in danger. Isn't Tanjore where we should be on such an occasion? Apart from this, there was another, more important reason. It was a desire to know if there was any news about Vandiyathevan. The younger Prati heard that the Palyavatarayas had sent men to capture Vandiyadevan, knowing that he had gone to Kadakar's side. Would that young man, who excelled in wisdom, fall prey to them? Perhaps if caught, they will be brought to Tanjavur. Is it not essential that we be there then? They could not do anything so easily to the messenger sent by Aditha Karikalan. He should be accused of something and punished. It is for this that they have accused Sam Bavariyar of trying to kill his son by stabbing him in the back. No doubt it is false. But it has to be proven false. 
All this while Kun Deve's mind was wandering in great intrigues and complicated affairs, while the mind of her friend Venati, who accompanied her on the elephant, was thinking about the same thing with the purity of milk and the clarity of marble. That one thing is about when Prince Arulmas Hivarma will return from Sri Lanka. Sister. You said you had sent Olay for him to leave immediately, didn't you? If he does, where will he come? To Padayere? To Tanjavur? Vanathi asked. Vanathi is worried about what will happen if the prince comes to Palayere while they have gone to Tanjavur. Kuntaveb Prati, who was deep in other thoughts, looked back at Vanati and asked, Who are you asking about? About Pani's wealth. She said. Yes, sister. It is about him. Four times you have referred to the prince as Pani's rich man, without giving the reason. You have been putting it off for later. Tell me now. The fort of Tanjavur is still far away. This elephant moves like a tortoise. Vanatha said. If the elephant goes faster than this, we cannot stay on its back. Amberi and I will have to fall down. Come on. Do you know what happened in the Takola battle? Sister. Tell me how the name Bonnie's Wealthy came about. Fool. It seems you won't forget it, I tell you. Listen. Kuntheve Prati started to say. When Sundara Chola came to power, his family life was blissful. The emperor used to take pleasure in the Pani River, sitting in the palace boat with his family. At such times the boat is the only joy. The Vena chants and hymns of the Panars mingle and compete with the flood of the Kaveri. Every once in a while someone would do something funny. Immediately the sound of raucous laughter broke out and became one with the roar of the Kaveri. Sometimes adults enjoy talking among themselves. On one side of the boat there are children playing drums. Sometimes they forget themselves and engage in fun with everyone. One day when the emperor, queens and children were sitting in the palace boat and were enjoying a pleasure trip on the Kaveri, they suddenly asked, Where is the child? Where is the child's blessing? said a voice. This voice is the voice of Kundave. Aromazai was five years old at that time. Kundave is seven years old. Aromazai is the darling of everyone in the palace. But above all, she is the one who wants him the most. Kuntava was the first to notice that she would see the baby in the boat. Immediately she exclaimed as above. Everyone was shocked. They searched around in the boat. But where is the place to look for more on a palace yacht? The child was not found even after searching around. Kunta and Adithan screamed. Queens moaned, friends screamed. Some of the boatmen jumped into the Kaveri flood and searched. Sundara Chola also jumped and searched. But where to look? Who saw how far the flood of the river would have carried the child? Who knows when the child fell into the flood? The people who jumped into the Kaveri without any aim or goal, jumped on all four sides. The child was not caught. Meanwhile, some of the queens and friends on the boat fainted and fell down. They don't care. Others who were emotional said oh. The mournful voice that cried and wailed rose above the gentle voice of the Kaveri River. The birds that lived in the trees on the banks of the river were stunned to hear it. But where to search? Who saw how far the flood of the river would have carried the child? Who knows when the child fell into the flood? The people who jumped into the Kaveri without any aim or goal, jumped on all four sides. The child was not caught. Meanwhile, some of the queens and friends on the boat fainted and fell down. They don't care. Others who were emotional said oh. The mournful voice that cried and wailed rose above the gentle voice of the Kaveri River. The birds that lived in the trees on the banks of the river were stunned to hear it. But where to look? Who saw how far the flood of the river would have carried the child? Who knows when the child fell into the flood? The people who jumped into the Kaveri without any aim or goal, jumped on all four sides. The child was not caught. Meanwhile, some of the queens and friends on the boat fainted and fell down. They don't care. Others who were emotional said oh. The mournful voice that cried and wailed rose above the gentle voice of the Kaveri River. 
the birds that lived in the trees on the banks of the river were stunned to hear it. The child was not caught. Meanwhile, some of the queens and friends on the boat fainted and fell down. They don't care. Others who were emotional said oh. The mournful voice that cried and wailed rose above the gentle voice of the Kaveri River. The birds that lived in the trees on the banks of the river were stunned to hear it. The child was not caught. Meanwhile, some of the queens and friends on the boat fainted and fell down. They don't care. Others who were emotional said oh. The mournful voice that cried and wailed rose above the gentle voice of the Kaveri River. The birds that lived in the trees on the banks of the river were stunned to hear it. Suddenly a wonderful sight appeared. A short distance from the boat it was visible in the flood of the river. A female figure stands holding a child in both arms. The figure of Mangi was hidden in waist-deep water. Only her golden face, breast and raised arms were visible above. A large part of them was covered by the child. Sundara Chola saw the scene like everyone else. He immediately swam towards that direction. He held out his arms and took the child. By this time the boat had also passed near him. The people in the boat took the child from Sundara Chola. They also took the emperor by the hand. When the emperor got into the boat, he fell unconscious. Everyone was involved in taking care of him and the baby. What happened to Madarazi who saved the child? No one noticed that. What was her figure like? No one is looking to identify it. I am the one who saved the child. She did not come to ask for that gift. So everyone unanimously decided that the river Kaveri must have saved Prince Aromas Hivarmar. Every year on that day it was arranged to offer puja to Pani River. Aromas Hivarman, who was the rich man of the palace till then, became Boni's rich man from that day.